Armory Golfers of the Disc. This is widely regarded as the best approach disc ever made. This is widely regarded by me as the best plastic ever made. Put them together and it sounds like a match made in heaven. Let's get into it. All right, I'm here at BB Owen Park. I'm gonna throw several holes of these against one another and we're gonna see how they fly. I think that Latitude 64 is really trying to model the savior after the zone. So I think they're a good comparison against one another. Hole one is 212 feet, pretty dead straight. I'm gonna to try to hit this with a tiny little bit of flex into this first gap and have it die down right next to the basket. A little low, you can see it working its way out of there, check up. Nice little circle one look. I'll try to throw the zone low too so we can get a good comparison. Get in. The first thing I notice when comparing the Savior to the zone, other than the fact that Royal Grand Plastic is just amazing in general, and I want all of my discs to be in it, <laughs> is that it's a little deeper than the zone, and it seems like it has a little bit sharper of an edge than the zone. So maybe closer to the way like a Prodigy A2 feels with that sharper sort of edge, a little deeper, maybe like a harp-ish sort of thing, but it feels like a deeper, sharper cousin of the zone. We have another 212 foot hole behind us. These discs want to fly on forehands. And don't worry, we're gonna get plenty of forehand throws in here with them. But this is another backhand shot. We're gonna see how these things can hold a hyzer and then fade out hard to the left because this really needs to flare over at the end. Lots of hyzer, lots of tight, lots of over there. It's a great disc. Hug it tight, flare on over there. Big skip, that should be 15 feet. Both of those felt kind of sawed off, but that's what you wanna do on this hole. And you want an approach disc that can really hold a hyzer like that. Both of them seem similar there. We all wanna know how they fly forehand. So we've got 215 feet here. I'm gonna put both of these out on a little bit of Anheuser, see how they fight out of it, see how they land right under the basket. Save your first. At 215 feet, that's not super far. That's not what I would classify as an overstable approach disc, but it obviously has stability to it. And honestly, I tried to throw those pretty similar. They look similar and the Savior might have a tick more stability on it based on that. Some of y'all gave me grief for calling you a weirdo for putting with putting approach discs, but these are approach discs. And if you put them, you're a weirdo, embrace it. We got 292, a little bit downhill, so it doesn't quite play that far, but I'm gonna see how these handle just a full power hyzer on backhand, starting with the zone. I mean, it's, it's nice and stable for sure. I'm gonna try to throw this one on the same angle, but I'm gonna try to put it farther right because I wanna be close to the basket. Yeah, I mean, if a zone is a 4303, I think the Savior is also a 4303. Oh boy. <laughs> That's a great approach disc for the, uh, the B position. Stay up. Hey, it's still weird. After throwing these a bit more, I can say that I prefer the way the zone feels. I'm also more used to the zone, but lower profile, more rounded edge, just fits really comfortably into the hand. The Savior, like I said, is a little bit deeper. So at first I didn't like that for forehands, but I forehand pigs, which are a really deep disc. So this is growing on me, especially if you like the way a harp or something like that feels, I think the Savior would be a good call. We've got 250 feet. I'm gonna push this out on forehand hyzer, see how it handles that, see if they flip, turn, fade, all that good stuff. Nice zone flight. Push up, eh, left it a little short. I want to throw this one harder so it can get all the way there, but I won't because I want to emulate the throw of the zone as closely as I can. Oh, I swung it a little wider. There's something, it might be because I threw that higher, it feels like the Savior has a touch more glide, but they're flying about the same. So I think it's just a visual thing more than anything. Yeah. 
You should like and subscribe for that effect. It's an approach disc, not a drive disc. So I'm gonna throw this forehand and then we're gonna pitch up from wherever I land with both of them. Pretty stand up. Be in a good spot. Thank you all for tuning in to another video. As I often do in these disc review videos, we're gonna be giving this bad boy away. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and let me know what this would be battling with in your bag. And we'll pick one winner here soon and get it to you. All right, the basket is right of this oak tree up here. Which one did I start with last time? I think I threw the zone first last time. Oof. Oh, she's too tight. Well, one was too tight and one was too high. <laughs> Inbounds. I'm actually gonna throw this from the same position so you can see how it flies. From <laughs> 85 feet from the basket. The last 64 Savior is a solid disc, flies very similar to a zone, I think it's worth consideration for your bag. You've seen them compared against one another. Now I'm just gonna hit you with some rapid fire shots of this bad boy so you can see it in different situations, different angles, different lengths, etc. Will the savior make my bag? No, it won't. Same reason that the zone won't make my bag. I prefer the pig. I like a slightly lower glide, slightly more stability. If this is thrown hard on Anheuser, it'll hold it a long way. That's great for shot shaping. There's tons of uses for it. Just like the zone is super well used. You've got plenty of uses for the savior. It's just not right for me. Is it right for you? Let me know. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you've gotten to this point of the video, please leave a like and I'll see y'all in the next one.